Hey guys, it's Shock with DG, and as you can probably hear, I've got a completely different audio setup. No more USB mic, I finally upgraded to a Shure SM7B with a Go XLR and all that fun stuff. So if I sound a bit weird or off, please give me some time while I'm still trying to work out all these settings for this new mic. Anyways though, you're sure to get better at Siege, so let's get right into that. This video isn't going to be your average tips and tricks video for Siege, however. You've all heard the same tips over and over, such as you need a good 5 stack, crosshair placement, and all of that good stuff. Well, in my video today, I'm going to go over some things that I think many people overlook when trying to get better. But before we get into my first tip, I need your help. At the time of recording this, I'm at just about 92,300 subscribers. I have this big goal to hit 100,000 by the end of this month, and 57.6% of you watching this video right now aren't subscribed. So let's make a deal. If you found this video helpful, then please subscribe so I can hit my goal of 100k by the end of this month. I upload videos daily, so I promise you won't regret it. Anyways though, for my first tip, I've said it before and I'll say it again, and it's that you have to stop worrying about your rank in KD. I promise if you're trying to improve your rank in KD, you're automatically setting yourself up for failure, and here's why. So we all know that Siege is a team-based game. You've got all of these different operators that specialize in their own thing. So for example, you've got Thermite, your classic hard reach operator. Now say you want to open this reinforced wall, but Bandit has one of those annoying batteries on the wall stop you from doing so. Well, this is where the team-based aspect of Siege comes in. If you want that wall open, you need someone else on your team to get the battery off the wall. So we all know that, it's super simple, but that's the same reason why your KD and rank just doesn't matter. If you win or lose in ranked, it's completely dependent on whether or not your team is playing properly and working together. Siege is all about teamwork. You win and lose as a team, not as an individual. Take Shaiko as a great example. During LAN, he set the world record for the most kills in one game at the time. I don't think he has it any longer, but my point is that he lost that game. Despite getting like 25 kills, he still lost. So if you want to improve at Siege, stop caring about your rank or KD. Focus on improving yourself as an individual and as a player, and your KD and rank will go with it. Alright, rant over, on to the next tip. For this one, I want to go over something that I get asked about constantly, and I think it doesn't matter at all. This player is someone who wants to get better, but is doing it all the wrong ways. And that's when I get asked things like, what's your monitor settings? What's your brightness? Or how far are you from your monitor? Now, before you go off on me in the comments about how in certain situations those questions may be valid, let me explain. I can sit here and say with certainty that you knowing the distance between my face and my monitor will not help you improve. And that goes for all of those other questions I use as examples. But I don't want you to think that I'm talking about just those questions. The list goes on and on, but we'll focus on those mainly. Everyone is different. That's why personal preference is a thing. So the distance between me and my monitor is almost certainly never going to help you. The same goes for my brightness and all of those other personalized settings. It's all up to you as an individual. No personal setting is best. They're personal for a reason. So I can't tell you what your monitor settings should be because we probably have different monitors and like different settings. So something I love to do when I'm streaming on Twitch and I get asked something like, why do you use 4.3 and not 3.2? Is to reverse the question. So I'll ask them, why do you use 3.2 and not 4.3? And then they'll respond to me and say, because I think it's better. And I'll say, boom, there's your answer. It's called personal preference. So to summarize, copying someone's peripherals such as like keyboard, mouse, monitors, sensitivity, aspect ratio, FOV, or anything else like that is not going to help you get better. Go in and play with your own settings until you find something that works for you and then stick with it. Don't worry so much about what everyone else is doing. And for my third tip, remember to hit the notification bell after subscribing to the channel so you never miss another tip video like this one. But jokes aside, I want to talk about aim trainers. I get asked what I think about them so often and if I use Kovacs or aim labs and how long I should warm up and all of that. So here's what I suggest. I personally think all warming up means is that you're comfortable within your setup and you have some confidence in your aim and movement. At least that's what I look for when I'm warming up. So here's what you should do. If you find third party aim trainers such as Kovacs and aim labs helpful, then use them. Personally, I've tried aim lab and I don't think it's that bad, but I would still prefer just to load up siege and hit the T hunts. At the end of the day though, you're looking to play well in siege, not aim labs. But as I said, whatever works, do that. All you want to go for either way is to feel like you can easily aim to wherever you want and move around the map fluidly. If you can get that down, then you're probably warmed up. All right, so I've said it in my tip videos before, and I know that a lot of other people have said it in their tip videos, and that's the five stack. Everyone says you've got a five stack, but nobody says how to find a five stack. I get comments on my YouTube videos and in my Twitch chat all the time, and people say, well, I just switched to PC, so I don't really know anyone. How can I find people to play with? And I'll be honest with you guys, I've not had to find a five stack from not knowing anyone in the community in almost four years but I can tell you what I did to find people and what I suggest you do on top of that. 
So when I first switched to PC, I had no mic and I wasn't all that good. But I was very helpful with picking the operators people asked for and calling out in the PC game chat. I know you console players don't have that luxury, but I'm just giving you guys my experience. But I've got some ways to find people for you console guys as well. So anyways, I would call out in the game chat and be as helpful and as nice as I could. Because of that, people would want to invite me because I was helping them win and doing what they wanted me to do. So basically what I'm saying here is when you're solo queued, be sure to help your teammates as much as possible. Eventually, when you find decent people to play with, you'll move up in the ranks just by that and eventually you'll find even better people to play with if you keep that practice up now if you're on console and you don't have the pc game chat or even if you're on pc and you want some of the tips i've got you i suggest you get onto twitter instagram tiktok twitch chats and discord servers and just talk to people i met so many of my current friends just by talking with them over twitter or twitch chat discord is also a great place many content creators and pro players have looking for group chats in their discord servers where you could try to find people to play with i have one myself so if you'd like to check that out I'll have it linked below in the description along with all of my other social media such as Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok if you're interested in any of that. So my recommendation to you is just to be super friendly to people and just ask to play. You'll get a lot farther with just asking to play than you oh probably think you could. All right, we're five tips deep you, now. So if you made it this far, be sure to drop a like and comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, though, this is a big one, I think, and that's to get into the competitive side of Siege if possible. And when I say comp, I don't mean 10 mans or ranked. I mean playing for a team and playing in scrims this is going to teach you how siege is actually meant to be played i used to be horrible at this game until i started playing comp playing the game with and against better players is by far the fastest and easiest way to learn and get better at the game and don't think you have to be some big name person to get on a team let me use myself as an example here so when i first switched to pc i joined a reddit team which was awful i was plat one and they thought i was bolo or something just based off of my rank they hadn't even seen me play yet so i went from the absolute worst of the worst to playing on a team with multiple current pro players if any of you know of the ob guys or the old team named team xeno i was briefly a part of that team the roster at the time was iconic jane i know quantum ryan and myself and i even subbed for a team that fultz and merc was on called oc for a short time so in a fairly short amount of time i went from a reddit team who were gold and silver to a team full of pro players i promise you comp can transform me as a player i was so bad before i started playing it and i'm so happy that i got into it when i did now i could give you a hundred other tips such as practice your aim find a good sense and whatever else but i think this is going to be it for today's video if you'd like more basic tips that are more focused on what to do in game and exactly how to do it then you can check out my tips playlist which i'll have linked down below in the description i've got everything from aim training guides sensitivity guides recoil guides the best graphic settings and anything else you can really think of so be sure to check that out in the description below i'll also once again have all of my socials linked there so if you wouldn't mind dropping me a follow in there i'd greatly appreciate it also as i hope most of you know i started a podcast with my friends a21 mayo and vexian we're like the post plant podcast and we'll be talking about everything siege related so if you're interested in that we're going to be having a new episode streamed live on my twitch channel tomorrow i'll also put the link to our new youtube channel where we'll be posting the full episodes as well as highlight clips so you can pick and choose what you find the most interesting anyways though that's going to be it for me i hope you all enjoyed the video and maybe even learned something if you did once again be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on i'd greatly appreciate it but as always guys thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m east for our second episode of the podcast